Hello everybody, Father Bill Holsinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. And I'm in the, uh, I guess it'd be the dining room of the parish house. And uh, you see an icon here that was given to me by Sister Charlene. It's an icon from Mount Angel. And you might be asking yourself, why is Father Bill wearing sunglasses? That's a great question. I'm glad you thought that. And the answer is, that's cool. I like it. Or, I went to see the optometrist today. And actually, no, he didn't actually um, do anything with my eyes as far as dilating them. So I didn't really, I don't really need them. I'll just take them off, put on my my regular ones. I did go to the optometrist, that is. Uh, and uh, sometimes you do have to wear sunglasses, right? So that you can see without having to squint or maybe even damaging your eyes when it's too, let's say, um, glary, right? Well, I go every year to get my eyes checked. And for me, amongst the senses that I've been given, it's very important. What are those senses? Okay, let's see. Let's seeing, hearing, smelling, which is kind of like tasting. Can we put that in there separately? Those go together. And touch. What other senses are there? Hmm. Might there be other senses? Well, if you had to let go of one of your senses, what would it be? What would be the one that you're willing to let go of? Uh, for me, I surely would not want to let go of my seeing. I would propose, well, let me read you a scripture. Maybe it'll help out. This is from uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse, I'll start with 15. And move through 18, because that's really 19, and those are the critical ones, later part. St. Paul writes to the Ephesians, I've heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him so that with eyes of your heart enlightened, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for, those who, for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. Now, what sense are we talking about? The sense of the heart? Well, how about the sense of faith that God has given us? This is a sense that is truly divine. The other senses are natural senses. All of, all of our lives are given to us by God. And some of them, not everybody, not everybody has. But amongst all of them, the gift of faith would be the most important. So God has given it to us. Have we received it? And it's poured out on us, quite literally in the sacrament of baptism, and spiritually at the same time, upon us, given this gift of faith. And in other sacraments, the same thing continues. They are sacraments of faith. And we, you can say, get a boost of faith whenever we receive the sacraments. Those sacraments like baptism are critical for our salvation through faith. So maybe someone can't see. Does that mean they can't go to heaven? Oh, there's saints that couldn't see or can't hear. There's amazing saints and great people who will be in heaven. I'm not sure about the touch and the tastes and smell. I'm not sure. I haven't, haven't heard of any that have that had that issue. But some of us might. And I want to encourage you and myself to remember that amongst all of these senses, the gift of faith is the most important. And again, I'm going to read this text, or just part of it again. And again, this is chapter 18. So that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, in other words, also with your faith brightened and lifted up, you may know what is the hope 
to which he has called you. So what is the hope? We hope for what? To get good grades? To get a job? To go to heaven? Mm -hmm. And it continues. The, these are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints. The saints in heaven. And for us here, we get to have a foreshadowing of all that as saints here, as we strive in God's grace to be saints. And it's all according to his power. See, saint, our faith is a gift from God that is given to us, and we're called to nurture it. Do we nurture it? It's like an athlete who has the, an ability to run, but says, nah, I don't want to do that. I've seen a lot of people with an intellectual ability in math. In my time as a high school teacher, I remember many women, many, the girls in our, my classes, had incredible abilities to do math. And some of them decided, eh. Or some of the guys had similar different and uh, indifferent abilities. And they said, yeah, they had other things they wanted to do. Okay, so they, they had been given a gift and they chose to do something else. Maybe they were called to do something else. I don't know. But whenever we have a gift, it's a gift given that is faith. We're called to nurture these gifts. And how do we nurture the gift of faith? By reading the scriptures, by praying. But the pinnacle is Mass. This is the greatest prayer the church can conjure up. The greatest prayer, because it not, it's just not you and me. It's not just the priest and the people. It's with the saints in heaven, the communion of saints, and even more. And the greatest, it's the prayer of Jesus to his Father. When you come to Mass next, notice that all the prayers, or most of the prayers, are to the Father. Let us pray. Father in heaven, etc., etc. More often than not, faith is caught, not taught. And to do that, that means we have to live it. We have to be people of faith, living a life of joy with our hearts enlightened, inspiring others around us because we are loving, because we're helpful, we're kind. We stand up for specific, you know, particular principles, particular beliefs. And of course, that can put us at odds with our culture, maybe sometimes with other people, but it's all because of Jesus. He's, he's the standard. He's the one that taught us how to be, how to live. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And so with this faith, we can be given heaven. We may not be able to see well or at all. We may not be able to hear well or at all. We may not even be the brightest, to say, pencil in the box or whatever. It's not about how smart we are. It's not how great of an athlete or how amazing of a scientist we are. If we do things without faith, and without love, those things come to very little or nothing. We're called to share our faith. And I want to encourage you this week, think about the people you're going to counter. Because this week, Sunday after the 11:15 Mass, around 12.30, we are going to have our annual parish picnic and it's a lot of fun. I was last year was my first time there, and I'm looking forward to it. I'll be bringing Snickers for the first time to that. It'll be Father Anthony's first time. Here's a great place to share your faith, your joy and hope with those. And this will be easy because we're all coming because we have faith. We all come from our Catholic faith and our community here. We all participate in those sacraments. But you never know. You might run into somebody who's having a hard time, who's struggling. And maybe you're the one that needs to be there to encourage them and, and walk with them. But if none of that happens, I want this to be an opportunity, like going to Mass and then also this parish picnic, to be like a fill-up of faith and hope and love so that you and I can go out after Sunday during the week and show our love and faith in our God with others. This weekend, folks, uh, Deacon Brett will be preaching. I ask that you would pray for him. I'll see you then. God bless you. Bye-bye. I don't know. I kind of like these glasses. 
Although, I don't know if I really care for black glasses. I have enough black in my life, so I actually had a pair of amber glasses. I lost them, so I don't have to squint so much, and things are brighter. This just darkens everything. I'm going to get some new uh, wireless glasses, but I kind of do look like the Blues Brothers, don't I? <laughs> I don't know. All right, Snickers just got a haircut. Let's, let's get him on the, the video here. Maybe maybe he needs some, some glasses. Let's see here. He's not going to like it, but... Uh. <laughs> Be cooperative. Come on, Snickers. Be a be a good pal. There's Snickers. I don't. Know. Oh, we can do this. We can do this. Ugh. Come on, buddy. He needs doggles. Is what he needs. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. There we are. Oh. Hey there. <laughs> I guess it's not to be. There he is. <laughs> All right. You're free. No animals were harmed in this video.